Sabina! Sabina P. What I needed wasn't Girl Scouts. I didn't need people showing me how to be friendly and tell us friend looks. How to light a fire on the outside so I could feel some figment of warmth on the inside. How to stitch patches on my little vest so I could imagine stitching the scrapes that were on my knees. No, Girl Scouts wasn't what I needed when I was a little girl. What I needed was Llama Scouts. Yeah! I needed people to show me how to have opinions that could start a revolution. Word. How to tell when it's alright to stop the kindness because the cuts have started to scar. How to become the door they slammed in my face over five times a day. What I needed was someone who could take my hand and tell me that being a bitch wasn't the worst thing I could be. That being a doormat wasn't alright. It seems almost silly right now that the one thing I needed was right in front of my nose. If I had braved the unknown word of help, then maybe it wouldn't have gotten so bad. Maybe I wouldn't flinch every time I hear a door open. Maybe I wouldn't be afraid of running. Maybe it wouldn't be the constant reminder that they are today. But my Llama Scouts came a few memories too late. Reminders are there telling me with those smiles that fake their way through principal's offices time after time that it was all my fault. My fault for being bigger than a beanstalk but having no stem to support myself for smiling like the sun though my given goal was the given role was the moon for trying to sell them cookies and be the good little girl scout that they trained me to be rather than the llama scout that they feared for llama scouts don't sell anything including themselves they are fearful uh -huh. until they become fearless they and their will keeps them warm even when they're cast to the darkest side of the moon. They make friends with themselves because sometimes that's all they ever have. They are everything that could have spared me from the cuts that are now smaller than a thread and the mentions that are bigger than the world. Yet I can't help notice that it's almost impossible for a girl to become a llama. The little wool I have, I'm told to shave. The times I sit with myself and enjoy my company, I'm told that I'm crazy. The unhealthy fears I have, I'm told to hold. And the little shreds of identity, I'm told to give away. Even after all that, I'm told to be an outsider, for I dream of being enlightened by the enlamament, rather than being your smiling little Girl Scout. And I will take the blame for that, as long as you take the rest. Take my best, take my patches, take the boxes I've been trying to sell you, for they'll only weigh me down as I try my hardest to become the one thing that they fear. Myself, the wannabe Llama Scout. Mm -hmm.